Hi, my name is the Bizbuv. And I like to wop wop wop. Yeah. Tell me who you Didn't mean to do that. I'm not sure what you So I've gone back a bit in time because I didn't like him calling me out on corruption. I didn't want to impress my colleague. There's something I, I've decided I want to do now. I think I've got a few bits that I need to redo. Otherwise, this is disco releasing. The cent machine stands in the corner. A sign says, one bottle equals ten cents. Your bottles clunk into the machine, and the money appears with a satisfying jingle. Nice. That's a satisfying jingle. Does she have... Um, yes, so. Is this about the questions again? Because I don't really know anything. I don't know. Why did she say I wouldn't want to fuck with Fruity? That is a good question. Sort of want to buy some shoes because I think I'm still walking around with just one shoe. Can I not go through that again? One of my of cheap sunglasses. You like sunglasses, officers? I've got the latest styles right here. Um, the port, these are hideous. What's more, they don't even fit your face. You can feel them pinching your nose and chafing against your brow. Damn, officer! You look like a mega secret spy. Very secret. They're practically made for you. I'll let you have them for. They're perfect for concealing your bloodshot and baggy eyes. It's going to be very difficult for anyone to take you seriously with these things on your face. No, you are definitely not a yo-yo. All right, I'm too sure? sensitive. But they look so good on you. You should think this through, officer. Roman Trader box. Um. I want some shoes. This is two lowly, defeated speakers, thralls, slaves basically, perched atop them like conquerors surveying the land. A pair of fat, is... durable wear sneakers, ultra serious. I can see you have a taste for luxury, officer. Can't keep your eyes off those sneakers. A pair of found ultras. The design is impossibly sleek and simple. A futuristic silhouette with a sleek monochrome colorway. A jet black upper and a silver lined midsole. Sounds pretty decent, you know. Dedicated, victorious, sporty. These found sneakers are a must have for a track and field legend. Those sneakers, mister. Those sneakers are the latest found sneakers. Super air, super fine, super cool. Only 50 real. Only? That's madness. Found ultras. Where? Future. You remember the slogan from some magazine. Um, Super cool. I'll go for the now that the premium lifestyle is yours, officer. The sneakers seem to vibrate in your hands with an almost mystical energy. Leave. Step right up, mister. Missing because I have a water knock. I can still do that. Um. Yeah, yeah. Don't have enough skill points available to get. How does that work? Okay. 
Guess I just gotta keep on cracking for you. But they want me to solve the mystery of it, yeah. Did I get that item? I've got a football. And give them back their shell football. You're still waiting for a replacement for the bull you sent sinking. And you guys a new bow. What is this? How are you mocking us? This isn't Poppy Tonk. Now, now, no need to get angry again, Rene. I'm sure the officer tried his best. It's not like there's a bull kiosk here in Martinez. I'm fair, sir. Huh? This isn't even a bull. But fine. I guess you did attempt to write your hooliganism. Consider it forgiven. Um, it about this old soldier that makes him stand so proud. Um, I don't think I need to deconstruct, guy. I found your guard proof. I should let him know. The Debardeaux Union pays me to stand with you during the night. Not out of any political allegiance, mind you. I'm an old man. Don't sleep more than a few hours every night anyway, and money is tight. You must have seen something on the night of your mother. Your proof looks right into yes, the yard. Yes, it does. Unfortunately, I wasn't working that night. Been on a two-week leave since last Monday. Um, so who was working your shift then? No one. The bus has been on man since last Monday. There's no other guard. It's just me. No Probably. one has been guarding the container yard since last Monday. Yes! It's... It's not actually an issue. I mean... Look, officer. The container yard doesn't actually need a guardman. Never had one before, Rene. Monsieur Claire had that booth built specially for him. It's mostly decorative. Um... Mostly decorative. Or someone being in there is enough to discourage any ill-minded individual. He tries to argue. Evrard created this job for him <clears throat> because he knows the Royal Carabiniers' pension of honor and PTSD isn't something a man can live up. A decorated kingsman collecting there reflects bad on the whole neighborhood. His work. I need a program. Get one you and back in job. Keep folks motivated. I know it's service. Invest a profit. Okay. Absolutely nothing wrong with tear collecting. This one side thing too. Probably have not tear Oh, I didn't mean to imply there's something wrong with that. I okay. do it too. Everyone does it. It's an excellent side thing. Yes, yes, yes. Can we conclude the topic of my guard booth now? Got it, thanks. Yes, like I said, it would be up anyway. So you might as well keep an eye out. Keeps my senses sharp. Um, one in three isn't bad. Maybe when I've got some more composure. Although if I'm spending on composure, I might as well risk it. All you observe is a veteran refusing to let go of the past and is old. This is the uniform of the Royal Carabiniers in service of Christel the First, Guillaume Le Lion, and the valiant King Philip the Fifth before him. Don't you mean Christel the Femme? You do not speak his name, Craven, although he was a clown. But yeah, he was ours, ours to ridicule and to mourn. There's something you missed. You will get to it. Don't worry. This was a statue of Felipe the Third. Ah, yes! King Philip the Third on his steed. A reminder of what Trevor Shell once was. Oh, absolutely. At the mercy of a cocaine snorting tyrant who emptied the treasury so he could sleep on a bed of gold. Uh -huh. A superpower, feared and respected. A testament to what this country can be under the leadership of a true king. Someone who knows how to rule. I'm sure the king, I mean. Without fear of offending the sensibilities of the 
the frail and weak-minded among his subjects. This is something the insurgents never understood. I'm not sure how I feel about that. You haven't lived as long as I have, son. With age, a man learns certain things about real power, or else ends up a spineless socialist rat, like Gaston here. And the worst part of that, officer, is having to spend your days playing petanque with an angry snake. <laughs> Carabinier doesn't reply, but his entire being communicates unbreakable resolve. Stay about silence. Uh, thank you for your time. This is yet ain't nothing to me. That's good to know. successful workhorse Caprice 40 and the answer to the Lums racing breed fur series. With its air-cooled rear-mounted 12-cylinder compression ignition engine driving the rear wheels through a four-speed manual gearbox, the Kanema is able to reach 100 kilometers per hour in 13.5 seconds and go on to a top speed of 180 kilometers an hour. Roll over in the first shop corner. The high center of balance is offset by a large battery bank mounted at the bottom of the cabin, feeding all the auxiliary systems and making the Kanema effectively a mobile power plant. This TikTok is really rubbing me the right way here. Due to a quite steep price tag, it is very unusual to see one in police livery. The machine really puts the loco back in locomotion of the vehicle. Very cool. I don't like your machine, Lieutenant. Looks impractical. Mm -hmm. You Lieutenant. want to take a closer look? There's a pack in there, point to the engine. Um, um, 130. I reckon that's a 7 litre V12 then. Uh, that's what? A uh, 7 litre V12? 7.2. Supercharged. Trying to suppress the shock so that smile unsuccessfully. Um, fine machine. Yes, an extraordinary machine. And the gentleness in the lieutenant's voice as his eyes run over the vehicle's contours. It's nice and all, but why so modest? Put some zing into it. Flare it up. Slam it down. Helium headlights would improve the range and quality of the visual field. He's a slam at him, make it more imposing. Have you put thought about switching to helium headlights? Actually, I have a pair at home. Just haven't gotten around to fitting them yet. I need to lay some wiring for the ballast first. If we ever get this case solved, maybe we can do that together. Maybe. You replies with an apology. Yes, definitely, well. maybe. And means no. Means no. Okay, let's move. Um, do I get another shot on the body? It's time has passed. The man before you is naked, but for a pair of underpants and white boots. His skin is marbled with decaying veins and blotched by lividity. On his chest, a fading web of tattoos. The cargo belt used to hang him from the tree looks reinforced. No, no reply. Oh. 
however many times. Please stop trying to perform a necromantic ritual. We have other things to do. I want to play Necromancer. That's what I told you up there. Going upstairs. You see a heavy steel door with the door does not the cobalt old co it leads to a side door. It's a side door. I get those logs back up. I mean, I should probably have a word of those at some point. I'm trying to be cool. An intricate web of blue lines stretches across the torso of the hanged man, from the right shoulder to the solar plexus. Each time the lines intersect, a small white star is born in their crossing. Hundreds of fading asterisks riddle his skin. Their concentration is highest around his heart. The pattern still kind of has an ethnic feel to it, but nothing familiar. Gone. For you to discover, you've gotten as far as you will without assistance. Someone who knows about history could tell you. Looking for something odd? Come to tell me to fuck off again? The odds? They are shit, man. I don't let anything pollute my body. You know where that mm. comes from? Sarah Miriza, Safre, Ilmara. They take the money from our local junkies here and then use it to outcompete us in the manufacturing sector. They know they can't beat us in a fair fight, so they have to get us to weaken ourselves somehow. It's racial sabotage. Racial economic sabotage. He eyes you wearily, unsure how to respond. This goes on. Listen, I agree. Seconds. This is our responsibility then, to keep this prisoner of the streets. The grammar show, right? I don't know shit. If I did, I wouldn't tell you. Um, what are you still hanging around here for? Most of her. From the news. What do you think? I can't leave the lorry unguarded. Stuff's been getting looted lately. It's those little kids sneaking around at night. If they touch my stuff, the bosses will be on my ass like ass cancer. There was a bunch of spilled boxes in the back of a big lorry nearby. I did see one lorry with the trailer doors open to my, on my way here. You know what happened? I knew that guy. He was an honest driver who loved this country. We were having a good debate about genetics at the Wheeling in Rags, when some kip boys smashed his lot and took damn near everything. Lost his fucking job over it. Since he left, I haven't had anyone to talk to. If they were getting drunk inside the Whirling in Rags, how could they know who broke into the lorry? Uh, it was kept a very good lie. What? Aren't we allowed to say that he's a kips who do all the stealing around here? That's not road to say. Man. Not you, then who's running drugs for a terminal B? Isn't it obvious? Fucking Sealang, that beady eyed South Samaran. His little side business is a scam. I wouldn't be surprised if he was spending drugs as well. He's a Samaran guy who likes to pretend he's some kind of businessman. Really, he's just selling his employer stuff. Stuff he stole. After he broke the seals on his human ox lorry. Just follow the smell. It smells like uh, apricot and oil when you're nearby. Oh, raspberry crackers. Yes, yes. Where is he? Looks like uh, your 
je viens de dire partner, mais hein. Too bad. See Lang's usually a little bit south of here, near the canal. You can't miss him. Just watch yourself. These tribe are natural liars. It's in their blood. He's your man, all right. One hundred percent. I wouldn't be so sure, buddy. Not until we've heard what Si Leng himself has to say. I mean, I do know I've already gone through this. I guess we need to pay Si Leng a visit. So. We're done then. I don't actually remember who Selang blamed, so I think it might be best to go through that again. I do feel that I'm only going on term third. You know, because of the word of some guy that's openly said that he doesn't. You see a Samaran street vendor surrounded by a motley assemblage of goods. When he realizes you're looking at him, his face breaks into a wide 